All right, and welcome back for another round of Maya. So for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and play around with this dynamics shattering effect that comes preset with uh, Maya. And it's a really interesting effect. What ends up happening is you can take any object that you have and make some uh, shattering effect, which will ultimately cause some debris and destruction. So let me go ahead and give you a demonstration of what this uh, feature entails. So there you go. So you have this pretty interesting uh, destruction of, a, of, a, of an object. I mean, not really sure on why it gives you yellow, but I think that's probably an option you can turn off or you can select something else from it. But that's pretty much the shattering effect to it. So whatever object that you want, and if this is something for a scene or something that you desperately need in order to create some kind of destructive feel to a to an environment you're creating, this is probably your best option as far as destruction goes. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So let's go start a new scene. Put your, give yourself a plane. Make yourself a cube or whatever object you want to destroy. Let's zero this out first. Translate Y. Let's go up to, I don't know, 10. Okay, so then select your cube here. Delete history. Then once you've done that, go to two effects. Create shatter. Go to your options right here. Okay, so you get some options right here. Crack shatter, solid shatter, surface shatter. Surface shatter won't give you that. I guess we'll give you something a little bit different as far as what we had initially. So then solid shatter will pretty much speaks for itself. It gives you a solid base objects when it um, destructs or shatters. So then for, let's go ahead and just reset some of the settings here. So for our shard count, this is basically the amount of pieces we want um, from our uh, from our cube that we want to shatter. So you can go as little as, I don't know, two, and as high as, I don't know, however much you are pleased with. So I'll just go with, uh, I don't know, I'll go with 20. Edge of jagginess, I just went up to, I don't know, just went up to about a point one thousand. And then seed value, zero. Uh, post operations, rigid bodies with collision off. Triangulate surface, keep that on. Apply interior material. I'm going to try turning that off and see what it does. And then, uh, let's see, make sure you have link to shards on. And that's it. So, let's see if this works. It'll take a few seconds for it to process. Okay, so now what just happened is after we applied the uh, shattering effect, it takes the object and breaks it all into pieces with edges everywhere. So it may look kind of wrong right now, but uh, it will work once we have everything set. So make sure you have, um, don't deselect on anything, so make sure you have the, the square set selected. Go to fields and then click on gravity. Obviously this will apply the physics to it, so which obviously will... Um, entail gravity pulling down the object. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so one final step we just have to do is make sure we have this plane here acting like a solid surface. Otherwise, it will not create that shattering effect for the cube. It will not allow it to do that. So just go ahead and create, uh, select the plane. Let's go to our soft rigid bodies. Make sure you're in your dynamics tab, by the way. And then create a passive rigid body. So once you've done that, you're going to go to your channel box layer um, editor, and then you're going to go to rigid body. And then you're going to scroll down until you see collision layer. Make sure you have that set to negative one. All right, so that pretty much solves everything, and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and increase our frame count to 200. Drag it on our timeline. Go to the beginning of our animation and watch. Oh boy, that didn't work. Probably an operator error. Select everything again. Go to gravity. Try it again. There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. So now we don't have um, that ye yellow color extra layer in our shatter, so make sure you have this option off if you don't want it. Apply interior material, so. 
Alrighty, so that pretty much entail that pretty much gives you a, a basic idea of what you can do with this shattering effect. So it's obviously something you can, you know, go ahead and play with the settings as far as oh, I want my object to be bigger, I want the things to be small or uh, thinner, as far as how many pieces come off. So that's always options you can go ahead and tweak. But this basically gives you a general idea of what this shattering effect can do that comes with Maya. So I find it pretty interesting and in, in some cases very helpful because let's say for example you want to you know create an object and then you obviously don't want it to be you know you don't want it to be put together you want it to be destroyed like there was remnants remnants of a of an object of let's say I don't know like a bowl or or a, a wall that had a, a cannon just went through it and there's debris everywhere so that sort of gives you that idea or that cool effect of you know destruction so but that's pretty much it for this demonstration hopefully this will be helpful for you in any uh, case that you're obviously dealing with let me know if you have any questions in the comments section otherwise uh, take care enjoy your Friday evening and uh, carry on